Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're here to clear up some common misconceptions and share why we love this area so much. So much that we wanna make sure y'all get to hear the facts and not just those crazy rumors. <laughs> yeah, we hear it all. All Southerners do is marry cousins or that we're all ignorant and stuck in the past. Hey, what's wrong with living in the past? Have you watched the news today? I'd love to go back in time. We're fixing to discuss the different aspects that Alabama has to offer. So prepare yourself for a pretty engaging conversation. Yeah, stick around to hear some pretty interesting insights that you won't want to miss. This is all really close to our hearts. I mean, it's home. Yeah, it's lower Alabama. We've lived here for years and it's become so much more than just a place on the map. It is our home. I'm Jessica. And I'm Tony. We've experienced all that Lower Alabama has to offer, and we're constantly amazed by how little people actually know about this place. It's not just a spot on the Gulf Coast. It's a community filled with incredible people, stunning landscapes, and rich culture. So first, let's jump in and talk about what makes this region so special while discussing some of the biggest myths we hear. One of the biggest myths we hear is that Lower Alabama is mainly a retirement destination where people come to slow it down and take it easy. While it's true that this area is popular for retirees with its mild climate and peaceful lifestyle, that's just a small piece of the equation. We help so many people move here, but I'd say half of them are coming down to retire, while the other half is moving their family here because it's an amazing place to live for everyone. Exactly. Lower Alabama is so much more than a retirement haven. When we first moved here, we were surprised by how vibrant and diverse the community is. Mobile, for instance, is bustling with energy. It's a city that's rich in history, but also forward-looking with a strong job market in fields like shipbuilding and aerospace or healthcare. I remember meeting a younger couple at a local coffee shop. They had just moved here for work and we were amazed at how quickly they found not just a job, but a community. While Don County is drawing in young families and professionals, we've got friends who moved to Daphne for the amazing schools, but they quickly fell in love with the small town charm and the sense of community. I remember when I fell in love with Fairhope, we lived in Mobile at the time, but we crossed the bay for the annual Arts and Crafts Festival. So funny when we say we crossed the bay. Um, all of downtown was alive with vendors and music, food, families, people from all walks of life just out enjoying the day together in peace and harmony. Kids playing. It was dog friendly. I even saw someone with a parrot in their back. I actually remember that and I got caught recording him. We met so many friendly, happy people and just fell in love with the whole package, the town, the people, the scenery. You name it. And speaking of kids, we've experienced firsthand how wholesome this area is for our kids to grow up in, whether it's a neighborhood block party or just a school event. This area is almost wired for kids. Top rated schools, parks, splash pads, roller rink, sour camps, youth groups, you name it. This is a place where the kids truly come first. So no, it's not just a place for retirees. Another misconception that we hear often is that Lower Alabama is just rural farmland and there's not really much going on. While it's true that there are plenty of peaceful rural areas here, there's so much more to discover. And we just so happen to love our open green spaces, pastures, and farmlands. But it's not all farmland. We have fields of pecan trees and majestic live oaks that are hundreds of years old. Um, beautiful white fluffy cotton fields. There's forests with vines that make you feel like you're in a jungle. Um, there's hidden rivers and there's bayous. There's so much. That's right. And Mobile, for example, is anything but boring. The first time we walked down Dolphin Street, we were struck by the just the lively atmosphere, the restaurants, the music, the people walking up and down the streets, just enjoying their night. We've spent countless evenings exploring the city's dining scene, catching live music at the Sanger Theater or downtown in general or at the Soul Kitchen and just soaking up all the culture. Oh, yeah. We love our downtown mobile restaurants like uh, Noble South, Dumbwaiter, Cotton State Barbecue. That was one of the first times I had really good barbecue down here. Um, there's the Ruby Slipper. Tony loves that for breakfast. I can go on and on. There's always something good happening in downtown Mobile. And Baldwin County, on the other hand, offers a different kind of lifestyle, 
but it's far from boring, I promise y'all. I remember when we first drove through Fairhope, um, the streets were lined with American flags for like over a mile and it instantly felt like a dream town. Um, if America's sweetheart was a town, it would be Fairhope. We were charmed by the quaint downtown lined with art galleries, boutiques, and cafes. We spent the entire afternoon there just wandering around and talking to locals who were more than happy to share their favorite spots with us. The mix of small town charm and easy access to outdoor activities makes Baldwin County a really special place. One of my favorite things to do on the weekends is to take a drive through the countryside in Baldwin County. The roads wind through beautiful landscapes and we've stumbled upon some pretty incredible just little diners and antique shops. It's a slower pace, but it is never dull. We've made it a tradition to explore a new part of the county every month. And it's something that we always look forward to. Yeah, we go hunting for boiled peanuts at corner markets. <laughs> so whether you're looking for excitement or city life or the tranquility of a smaller town, Lower Alabama has something to offer for everyone. It's all about finding the right balance that fits your lifestyle. And trust us, there's a lot more to this area than meets the eye. Another myth we hear a lot is that the weather in Lower Alabama is just too hot and unbearable. Especially in the summer, you won't even leave your house because of it. So yeah, it gets hot. That is 100% true. But the climate here is actually one of the things that we love most about this area. And it doesn't stop us or locals from spending as much time outdoors as possible. Definitely. I remember our first summer here, everyone warned us about the heat. But honestly, it wasn't as bad as we expected. The coastal breeze really does make a difference. And the mild winters are just as fantastic. There's something about being able to enjoy outdoor activities all year round that makes the hot days really worth it i personally love the humidity too it's not like florida's humidity either i feel like ours is just much more pleasant believe it or not we visited orlando a couple weeks ago and it felt like we couldn't breathe our alabama humidity just makes you feel like you're somewhere hot and tropical. Yeah, I don't know how, but Florida humidity was like my entire body felt damp and I was uncomfortable. But our humidity in here just doesn't feel like that. It can get sticky, I guess, at times, but it just wasn't as intense as Florida. Um, it must be those coastal breezes that Tony was talking about. And speaking of outdoor activities, one of our favorite things to do in the summer is head to the beach or spend time on the water. We love to kayak in the rivers in Baldwin County. Um, our kids love to stand up paddleboard down at Gulf Shores. So there are so many ways to stay cool and beat the heat on those extra hot days. Nothing's better than being out in the water. We've made some really great family memories and our kids ask to go out every chance they get. And it's not just about the beaches. We also love the fact that you can go for a hike or a bike ride, even in the middle of winter. I remember last Christmas, we spent the day walking around Gulf State Park instead of staying inside all day like you would up north. It was such a refreshing change from the snowy, gloomy winters we used to deal with. I don't wish that upon anyone. So yes, it does get warm here, but with the right mindset and a little planning, the weather in Lower Alabama can be a huge plus. Another common misconception is that housing in Alabama is dirt cheap. Yes, there are definitely areas in the state of Alabama where you can find inexpensive homes, but our part of the state, Baldwin County, Lower Alabama, prices for a home can be in the high 200s to over a million dollars, depending on the area. In town with top schools like Fairhope, Daphne, and Spanish Fort, the average price for a single family home can be around 400, 450,000. And down in Gulf Shores and Orange Beach, you might find that same style house going for seven or 800,000. It all depends on what you want, but Baldwin County is its own beast. The prices for homes here are much different than the rest of the state. Yeah, you'll definitely find some areas in Baldwin County where you can get a modest home for a good price. And we have some really great new build options, but just please be realistic and understand homes on a half acre and up or homes with in-ground pools, those are gonna cost a little bit more, especially if they're updated newer move-in ready and while we're on the topic of home prices if you're planning to move here don't hesitate to call us that's why we make these videos to help you we know the news and the media might have everyone wondering about aging commissions but when you work with us you will never pay us an aging commission we know y'all are paying a lot of money to move across country and buy a new home Paying for a realtor isn't even an option for some of you. In our market here in Baldwin County, we haven't seen sellers not offering buyers agent commissions. 
We work with sellers every single week and we've negotiated our commission every single time so that our buyers don't have to deal with that. Yeah, it's a burden that you don't need. Nothing has changed when it comes to buying a home. The sellers just can't advertise in the MLS that they're paying our commission. Now, on to the next myth. There's not much to do in Lower Alabama and that it's somehow lacking in activities or entertainment options. Honestly, this couldn't be further from the truth. Do we have nightclubs and bars galore? No, and thank goodness we don't. Those are the places that tend to bring in the crime, DUIs, drugs, crowds we really don't want because we want to maintain the peace and safety of our little slice of heaven. Yes, we have bars and local establishments for drinking and what have you, but they're going to cater to our demographics, which are families and retirees. Not so much people looking to party till the sun comes up. <laughs> and if you're looking to do that, Take the drive to New Orleans or Pensacola or just go to Florabama. You just won't find all of that in Baldwin County or in all parts of Baldwin County. To us and majority of the people who live here, that is a major appeal. When you drive at night on our streets, they're quiet and safe. I have a 16-year-old and I don't have to worry about 20-something-year-old drivers driving home drunk from the bar you know, who might run into my kid. Yeah, he's right. I worry a lot less living here. Now, moving away from the bar scene, there's so much to do here, whether you're into outdoor adventures, cultural experiences, or just enjoying the local scene. Mobile, for example, has a vibrant arts and culture scene with plenty of museums, theaters, what else, galleries. There's tons of stuff to explore. And then there are the festivals. Lower Alabama is known for its year-round events that just draw people in from all over. Mardi Gras in Mobile and Baldwin County is legendary and it's actually the oldest Mardi Gras celebration in the U.S. It's a family tradition to attend as many parades as we can every single year and it's something that we all look forward to. The parades, the music, the overall energy, it's just incredible. Outdoor enthusiasts will also find plenty to love from fishing and boating on Mobile Bay to hiking and camping and the numerous state parks that we have. There's no shortage of ways to get outside and enjoy the natural beauty of the area. We actually rented a boat and captain for this weekend, and we have family visiting, and this is our favorite way to get out on the water. Yeah, we love being out on a boat, but we don't particularly love the cost of owning a boat, and we discovered that we can rent them for a really great price. Less work, more fun. We've also spent countless weekends exploring Gulf State Park, and every single time we discover something new, uh, hidden trails or quiet spots to picnic by the water. One of our favorite events down here is the National Shrimp Festival in Gulf Shores. The food is amazing. You have live music and the atmosphere is just fun and welcoming. It's these kind of yearly events that really just make you feel like you're a part of a close-knit community. They become special family traditions that you can just carry over forever. So whether you're into arts, culture, or the great outdoors, there's always something to do in Lower Alabama. It's one of the reasons we feel so fortunate to call this area home. There's always something new to explore, and we love sharing these experiences with our friends and our family. There's another misconception that Lower Alabama is all about beaches. And while our coastline is definitely a highlight, there's so much more to the region than just sun and sand. That's right. While Gulf Shores and Orange Beach are incredible places to visit and live, Lower Alabama offers a diverse range of experiences beyond the beach. Baldwin County is home to charming towns like Spanish Fort, Farrell, and Daphne, where you can enjoy everything from art galleries and boutiques to nature preserves and waterfront parks. We love spending afternoons wandering along Fairhope's Municipal Pier, grabbing lunch on the causeway, and just soaking up Mobile Bay. It's a place that soothes your soul, and we've made so many amazing memories there. One of my favorite things about living in Baldwin County is the access to awesome golf courses. Yes, I'm talking about golf in another video, <laughs> but it's true. I have so many options for courses in Baldwin and Mobile County. During the weekdays, my friends and I tend to stay local if we get out and go to Rock Creek, but weekends, we like to venture down to Kiva Dunes or... When we're feeling fancy, we head over to the prestigious Lakewood. One of my favorites is Magnolia Grove in Mobile. They have multiple courses and they keep them so pristine. Cart service is always right around the corner. If you ever get thirsty, it's just 
wide open and beautiful there. I'm telling you. Okay. It's, okay. This man it's can amazing. go on about his golf courses. I get it though. Being out on the golf course is one of the most relaxing feelings. It gets you away from your wife and your kids. It's another form of self-care and you have that at your disposal here in Baldwin County. That and warm weather, golf, beaches. What more do you need? So while the beaches are definitely a highlight, Lower Alabama has so much more to offer. It's an area full of surprises and we feel lucky to call it home. Every day here feels like a new adventure and we can't wait to see what we'll discover next. And if you're thinking about making the move to Baldwin County or anywhere in Lower Alabama, we love to be your go-to real estate resource. Visit us at yourrealestatefam.com or give us a call to get started. And watch this next video to learn more.